Jen, tell me something good. Something good was our pancake supper this week. Boy, were those pancakes good. Yeah, that's what I heard. I wish I could have been here. They were so good. I'm still full, ready for Lent to start. Ash Wednesday was a great, great service. It sure was. Very reflective. Got me into the mindset of Lent, preparing us as we work our way towards Easter. And we've got a full calendar this week coming up, don't we? Peter? We sure do. We sure do, John. Starting today at 1 o'clock, we have our leadership board meeting. It's in the conference room, and everyone is invited to attend. If you'd like to know what's going on at the church, this is a good way to listen in and participate. I know I'm going to be there, Peter. Me too, John. What else? Oh, I know it's hard to believe, but it's already time again for Taco Tuesday. Yes, it is. Every first and third Tuesday is Taco Tuesday, so you might want to put it on your calendar. That's right, and be there this week at 6.30, Taqueria Jalisco at Cimarron and Wooldridge. Everyone is invited. And then we have something coming up for our youth, and it's called a Teen Glow Game Night. It will be in the Modisset building, also known as the Scout Hut, also known as building outside on the other side of the parking lot. Sounds like a lot of fun, Peter. I'm kind of wishing I was young again. Me too. Leslie, our uh, youth director, has gotten all kinds of cool glow-in-the-dark stuff. They're going to have glow-in-the-dark ping pong, and I don't know. It's going to be really cool, and it's going to be on Sunday, March the 3rd from 5 to 8 p.m. We've also got a new young adult Bible study starting at 1015 in the admin building. That's right. Um, we have a new young teacher teaching that class and she welcomes any young adults. That would be anyone college age and up that would like to attend. She's lovely. Next on our agenda is it's down the road a little bit, but this is really important. You put it on your calendar now on Palm Sunday which will be on Sunday, March the 24th, we are gonna be having one combined worship service. I really like when we do that, Peter. I do too, John. It brings us all together into the same room and get to worship together. And then following the service, we've got a picnic. Which is really cool. And it's gonna be in our newly cleaned up courtyard. Speaking of, if you would like to help clean up this courtyard, we need lots of helping hands. So see myself or Dee Dee or the church office to volunteer. But that day, we're going to be having a picnic out there. What are we going to be eating? We're going to be hot dogs, hamburgers. We're going to have an Easter egg hunt. So if you have children, bring them. And then again, if you know families with children, we'd love to have them that morning. See all the young children hunting eggs around our church. Yes, it's going to be fun. Fun for the grown-ups and for the kids. So Absolutely. we hope to see you all there. And in addition, we're looking for a donkey. I know that sounds like a crazy request, but we'd like a donkey to participate in our processional that morning. So if you happen to know somebody that has a donkey, let us know. We're going to be in that procession, aren't we? That's right. The guys <laughs> from the Living Last Supper, which is our next event, will be participating. So you'll get a sneak peek. It's almost like a dress rehearsal as we proceed around the church grounds. And the oh. Living Last Supper is when, John? It is March 29th. 8th? 28th. March 28th. Let's do that again. So when is the Living Last Supper, John? The Living Last Supper is going to be March 8th. Get here about <laughs> Wait, John. 28th. <laughs> and take Thursday. So, John, when is the Living Last Supper? The Living Last Supper is Thursday, March 28th. It starts at 6.30, so I would suggest you get here by 6 because it is a full house. It is, and it is a very nice, reflective way again to head into Easter. It brings it all together for us, so we hope to see you there. And then last but not least, today we start a new sermon series. This sermon series is title, Jesus' Final Words from the Cross. There will be seven weeks on this um, series. We hope that you'll be here each and every week. We've got some drama that will be included, some skits from our famous skit guys, and different things. So we hope that you'll be here 
the next seven weeks as we work our way towards Easter. And now, now, without any further ado, let's give it back to our praise band.